Welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the athletes, programs, and people at the National Sports Center. I'm your host, Scott Clayson, and this week we are going to focus on the Schwann Cup hockey tournament that took place between Christmas and New Year's across the Twin Cities area. Now, this tournament has become the most prestigious high school holiday hockey tournament in the state of Minnesota. Now, NSC TV was there on championship day when the girls' divisions decided the champions at the Ritter Arena, the University of Minnesota women's gopher hockey team's home ice, and the Excel Energy Center, which of course is the home ice to the Minnesota Wild. We first caught up with the team in the Blue Division Championship game of the Girls Schwann Cup, and that is Minnetonka. They were facing the Egan Wildcats at Ritter Arena. We talked to a couple of the Minnetonka players to see a little bit of what the Schwann Cup experience was like for them. Hey, I'm Hannah Berry, and I play for Minnetonka. I'm Emily Meese, I'm Brenna Flatley. We're in the championship game tonight versus Egan. We're in the Blue Division. We're defending chance from last year, so we're ready this year again, too. Tonka rocks. Well, clearly those girls were, uh, were ready to play. Now, NSC TV also got a chance to be behind the scenes in the locker room before the championship game where Minnetonka head coach Eric Johnson gave last minute instructions and a pep talk to the team. It is, it is said that 10% of life is what happens to us and 90% is how we react to it. Last couple games, we've reacted to it very well. The adversity, uh, things going well, things not going well. You know, in the games of hockey, our momentum, it ebbs and flows, it goes up, it goes down. Sometimes things happen like the way we want them to and the way we script them. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> but, you know, our attitude determines our altitude. And if we think we can or we think we can't, we're probably right in both cases. The choice is ours. So let's play with our brights on, keep the attitude in the right spot, and work as hard as we can. Let's just go out there and do it and prime the pump. All right. All right. Yeah. Woo -hoo. yeah. Well, congratulations to Minnetonka as they defeated the Egan Wildcats 5-0 to win their second consecutive Schwann Cup championship. Now, on the boys' side, there are the gold, silver, and bronze divisions, and we focus on the bronze division as they play their championship game at the Excel Energy Center. Now, everyone loves an underdog, and this year's championship game for the bronze division featured such a team in Owatonna as they faced off the Monomenai Zephyrs. Now, Owatonna is not a traditional hockey town or hockey school. They're more well-known for, for the wrestling program, but they were invited to Schwann Cup. They'd never been to this tournament before. They'd never been to play at the Excel Energy Energy Center before. We talked to Coach Fish from Owatonna about what this experience has been like for his team. My name is Will Fish. I'm the head coach of the Owatonna High School team. Uh, we just uh, we're delighted to be involved with the Schwann Cup. We're trying to upgrade our, our uh, schedule and this is a great way to do it. Our team and our program is, is a bit of a work in progress but uh, it's opportunities like this that we need to take advantage of to continue to improve as a team. Our, our players are awfully excited to be here. Um, but this, is a, this is a great experience for them, you know, for their lives in general, but also as, as preparation, ways to finding ways to, to uh, get through the distractions that, that a place like the XL Energy Center can pose. Uh, you know, rafters are a lot higher here than they are at, uh, at our rink, um, but we still play on the ice and the puck's still black, and we need to make sure that we keep that in mind. Um, but we're, we're eager to get at it. Uh, it's going to be a stretching experience for us, and uh, that's exactly what we need. So thanks, uh, thanks to the Schwann Cup organizers for inviting us, and uh, we'll do what we can do. Owatonna gave Mata Mead everything they could handle in the championship game, but they did end up falling 5-4 to four to end their Cinderella ride in Schwann Cup. Now, next week's episode of NSC TV, we're going to go back inside to the sports hall and take a look at the Track and Field Club, one of the longest running programs here at the National Sports Center that has produced state champions for numerous years. That's going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. As always, you can find us on our website at nscsports.org, and I'm your host, Scott Clayson. <laughs> had a lot of fun in this tournament. Three, two, run. Hana, hana, hana. And everything they could. Out music. <laughs>